Jai Hind, dear children. Welcome to the physics class. Today we are going to discuss meter bridge. Now we are going to discuss about meter bridge or slide wire bridge. Meter bridge or slide wire bridge is based on Wheatstone's bridge principle. It is used to find out the unknown resistance. Meter bridge it consists of a 1 meter wire. Here AC represents 1 meter constant in wire or manganin wire they are alloys they are stretched between two right angled copper strip right why thick copper strips are used because as uh, uh, area increases thickness increases area cross section increases and hence resistance can be decreased here there is a rectangular copper strip placed between these two right angled copper strip This is the actual picture of the meter bridge where we can see two right angled copper strip and the rectangular copper strip placed in the middle provided with two gaps the left one and the right one and the one meter wire is connected between the two right angled copper strips. Then in the middle region there is a knob from which a galvanometer is connected and which is connected to a region called a jockey. Jockey is a sliding contact, it can slide from point A to C. In the left gap, a known resistance is connected. Here there is a gap that is called a right gap and in the right gap, unknown resistance is connected. X represents the unknown resistance. And across the points A and C, a battery and key, key are connected. Right. So this arrangement is placed on a wooden board two metallic copper strip and the wire that is fixed on a wooden board. Main use of meter bridge is it is used to find out unknown resistance. So after making the connection jaw key is placed at the point A. We can see galvanometer shows one sided deflection. Again jaw key is shifted to the position C. We can see galvanometer shows opposite deflection. Now we can say that the circuit is correct. Take a known resistance, for example, 1 ohm or 2 ohm or 0.1 ohm from this known resistance. Again, jockey is placed at the point A. We can see galvanometer shows maximum deflection towards one side. Then move the jockey from A to C. Along the wire, move the jockey from A to C. Now we can see that the at a particular point, galvanometer shows zero deflection, null deflection or zero deflection. And that length the length they can be measured here there is a scale so from the scale we can measure the length that length is represented as L and that length is called a balancing length galvanometer shows zero deflection at a particular length of the wire called a balancing length L since AC is equal to 1 meter wire or 100 centimeter wire this length is L centimeter so what is the remaining length 100 minus L ok children now this meter bridge arrangement is similar to a Wheatstone bridge. We can uh, draw the Wheatstone bridge arrangement. Here it consists of this is a Wheatstone bridge arrangement that you know. Here four resistance are connected and across A and C a battery and a key are connected. Across B and D galvanometer is connected. So here also across B and D galvanometer is connected across A and B in, uh, resistance R is connected, across B and C unknown resistance X is connected, across B and C unknown resistance X and across A and D L length, then across C and D 100 minus L. Here I have written R C M into L, Y means length is not a resistance, length does has some resistance. Okay, length cannot be considered as a resistance but length has some resistance. How length has some resistance? Because we know let RCM is resistance per unit length. RCM resistance per unit length. So unit length has resistance RCM. So what is the resistance corresponding to length L? That is RCM into L. So this acts as the resistance. Right. What is the resistance corresponding to 100 minus L that is RCM into 100 minus L, isn't it? So RCM is a resistance per unit length and hence resistance of this length L is RCM into L. 
resistance of this 100 minus L is RCM into 100 minus L. So, now this length resistance corresponding to the length is RCM into L. Resistance corresponding to 100 minus L is RCM into 100 minus L. So, it is purely Wheatstone's bridge balanced condition. Okay. Now, what is the Wheatstone's bridge balanced condition formula? We know R divided by here R divided by RCM into L equal to X divided by RCM into 100 minus L. That is the Wheatstone's bridge balanced condition. R1 by R2 equal to R3 by R3, R4. At that time galvanometer shows null deflection of zero deflection. Here also galvanometer shows null deflection at a particular length L. Right. So, here we can write using the Wheatstone's bridge balance condition we can write R divided by RCM into L equals X divided by RCM into 100 minus L. RCM and RCM can be cancelled. So, R by L equals X divided by 100 minus L. R is known value of resistance, L is the known balancing length. So, unknown resistance S can be find out by using R into 100 minus L divided by L. So, using this value we can find out the unknown resistance connected in the right gap. Okay children.